Hello and welcome to the video for what are the make map and make set nodes. Well, let's right click and make map and we'll get the make map node and we'll right click and we'll do the make set and we'll get the, well, we'll spell it properly and we'll get the make set node. These are two nodes that were added in Unreal Engine 4.18. So they're only going to be available in those versions and later. And they allow us to, inside of our blueprint editor here, either at runtime or design time, make a map. It's kind of like making a literal value, except we can make it a map or a set. Previously, we'd have to have an existing map or set and then add, remove, clear, and, and work on that existing map. This one allows us to make a unique map and then do something with it. We can put in a key and a value, just like an existing map. We can add additional pins. So we have, for example, four different values, four different elements inside of this map. We can do the same thing with our setter. When you put in something to your key or your value on a map or into your value here on your set, they're wildcard by default and they'll become that type. So let's say, for example, I had a literal bool. And let's say I had a literal, let's go with a literal string. I, if I plug in my string into my key, you'll notice all of my keys now become strings. If I plug in my bool to my value, all of my values become bools. You can change it. When you unconnect them, they will go back to wildcards. And that way you can design your map however you'd like it. Same thing with the set. We could have our set, for example, to be all bools. If I plug in a bool, it becomes a bool for the set type. And this is useful because at runtime, or in this case, well, at runtime, for example, I'm running something. I want to see how many players are loaded up into my game. Each one has a unique ID and a unique name. Rather than having my map loop through a list, I can just take all that information at once and shove it into a map. In this case, I'm going to take in these three values. You can see my map over here is empty by default. We'll run it at runtime. I'm shoving those values into a map and setting it. And now you can see we have three different elements inside of our map, a map of integers to strings. Like maps and sets, if you set them normally, they have to contain unique keys in the case of a map or unique values in the case of a set. We go back up here. Let's say we change this to 1122. So now we have two different elements with the key of 1122. Carl is the first one and Derek is the second one. When we run this, it's going to process it hopefully like you'd expect. Our map only has one value in here for 1122, and it's Derek. When we went through, when we made this map, we put in our first two values with Carl. Then we added our next two with, who do we have for a second, with Richard here. And then when we added in the next one with Derek, the key 1122 is already set up here, so we replaced the value with Derek. And that's the way we expect it to work. And that is the way the set works as well. It only can have unique values. If we were to duplicate values, well, it's just not going to do anything in the case of a set because sets don't contain keys and pairs. They just contain values. And that's it. Those are our make, map, and make set nodes. They were added in Unreal Engine 4.18, and it lets us make a map and a set directly inside of our blueprints, inside of our node graph. 